Hello, all you beautiful people. Welcome, welcome, all you beautiful people. Time for part seven. <laughs> I always have to look. <laughs> we are setting sail, but before we we set sail, there's a, like I think there was like two things I wanted to do. One, well, actually one thing. All right, here's what happened so far. Our heroes and are in Gallop. Our heroes are in Gallopolis, where they have come in search for the supposed branch of Aegis, so that they hope they um they hope will reach them. Oh my God! That they hope will help them reach the World Tree. <laughs> the Slayer of the Sands has been spotted, and Joker finds himself helping the hapless Prince Ferris once again as he is sent out into the Celestial Sands to ensnare it. With Silvando's enthusiastic assistance, they manage to capture the creature and get it back to Gallopolis. But it promptly breaks free of its chains and goes berserk. Silvando suddenly appears again, and with a few choice words, whips Ferris into a frenzy. The prince stands firm, and while it takes Silv to strike the killing blow, his swift exit leaves the future of Sultan, the future Sultan, free to soak up all the glory. Having finally learned his lesson, Ferris comes clean with to his father. He also raises the topic of the rainbow, and the party's relief turns to incredulity. As the Sultan reveals that he sold it to a traveling salesman to pay for the Sand National. The party leaves Galapolis in pursuit of the salesman and are accosted by Sofando on their way out the gate. Unable to bear the thought of the Dark One bringing despair to all and sundry, he insists on joining Joker and his pals on their quest. With this new addition to their merry band in tow, they take off for the gondola. Where, uh, they take off for Gondoli, I mean, where it seems Sof has a ship they can use. All right, yep, but before we officially set sail, as the title of the stream, we are going to go to, oh yeah, we're going to first check out the fun size fort, like I said, there's some things we can help um, get better at, um, we can increase some of our stats, and we also got a bunch of stuff, focus went up by three. We also have um, this really good shield, a gold chain, max HP 5, 1 defense, 5 charm. Nothing good. Gold bracer, I don't need. We've had so many of We have so many of that. And we've already crafted all this stuff. I'm not going to craft any of this. I'm actually just... Well, I, I do need the pearls, though. Um... But I'm gonna rework some stuff. But let's let's actually forward some of it actually. Starting with some of the things that we do not have, um, such as the shield. Let's put that in there. Yeah, there was some there was something else that we could have made. I should have checked that real quick. Double whammy. First let's go with this. And then double whammy that. And to that. Double whammy this. No, lightning bash on... Actually, first let's just regular bash this one and that one. And then we're going to lightning bash this one. Fantastic. And then... um, I want to first hit this one normally. Same with that one. I don't have too much focus, so I had to I had to do what I had to do right there. Success plus two. See, it came out pretty good. It wasn't bad. Um, there was like I was saying, there was something we could have made. Um, some fur hats. Look. Pretty good defenses right there, right off the bat. Um, and this fur poncho, actually even better. Um, magic beast hide, that's what we don't have though. We only have one of them, so we can only make a hood. Um, don't need that. Any accessories we didn't make? No. Any weapons? No, okay, so just armor. So let's make the fur hood, 
We'll give it to Eric because he's the one who's going to benefit from it the most from what we see here. Bam! Oh yeah, so while we're doing this, I really want to talk about, um, what's it called? I want to talk a, just a little bit, not, I don't want to talk too much of it, because it wasn't too great, but the Square Enix stream, um, it was quite a, it, I want to say it was kind of disappointing. Um, I was really hoping that they would show something pretty good, but they kept just showing and shoving like Marvel in our faces. Um, which was very depressing to see. And, uh... But, I did like, um, the small... It was just so short. But they did show, um... um was it Legend... Yeah, Legend of Mana. Um, they did show that a bit. Yes. They did show that, so that was cool. Legend of Mana looks absolutely stunning. It looks gorgeous. It looks just beautiful um i i'm not a fan of action rpgs um but that game just the visuals makes me kind of want to check it out you know a game that beautiful it just kind of makes me want to play it um also i'm i have zero reason to go and even play the game but i will say um the Final Fantasy um, uh, Pixel Remasters were also really cool. I love stuff like that. The only unfortunate part um, was that... Uh, the unfortunate part about um, the whole thing is that... I'm personally more of a fan of the uh, the remasters that they did to practically all like the first six of the games. Um, so I really... It really is hard to want to even, um, like, play them. Unless you just want to, unless you're a person like me, I mean, that really likes to go back and, uh, enjoy some fun times on, um, some beautiful, stunning-looking pixel, um, JRPGs, such as those. Um, but, I, pr I prefer, this is just personal preference, but I prefer... Um, the remasters, if I'm going to play any of them. Um, not that, you know, the games look absolutely fantastic, but I'm also wondering, are they just, like, pixel remasters of, like, um, the older one, or, or they're going to have, like, um, some of the f changes, some of the balance changes, or something like that, that they did with the remasters? And just put it into the pixel remaster. Or are they keeping the difficulty and some of the weird decisions on the balancing on the older ones? That's my main question that I have. Um, but basically that was the only th two things I liked in the Square Enix um, showcase. As sad as that sounds, it really just was the only two things I liked. And um, I'm not I was not interested... Um, obviously, I'm not I'm not interested in like Marvel or anything like that. So Marvel stuff flies over my head. It's definitely not a gameplay style that I I even like either. Um, then at the end they showed off um, another Final Fantasy Origins, I think it was. That just did not look right to me at all. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't like action RPGs. The, well, I don't know what happened to these. The Warrior of Lights? Like, what happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened to them. That, that that just looked very weird. Um, I don't like the characters. I didn't like that. It was all, like, chaos this, chaos that. I don't know what the heck was going on. Um. Oh, look at that. Pretty good. Um, I didn't know what the heck I was looking at most of the time. But I do want to say that uh, that the Pixel Remaster, as well as the uh, um, 
The Legend of Mana looked fantastic. I don't remember too much what else they showed besides the Marvel, the Final Fantasy Origins. Oh yeah, they showed Greedfall. I think, I, was it called? No, Babylon's Fall. Whoops, that's another game. Oh, Babylon's Fall. I'm not a fan of our action RPGs. I'm not a fan of action games in general. So, like, stuff like that, like, anything Platinum makes, like, they make fantastic games. But that game looked very weird. That game did not look good. It looked like it needs a lot of work. It looked like a lot of animations were just not there. Obviously, the game's early in development, but still. It's just how I looked. I, that's how I saw it. I think if you're going to make a... If you're going to show a trailer off like that, I think you should at least polish it up. Polish what you're showing. Like... Like, do your best to possibly even hide, you know, the, the weird-looking stuff. But... That's really all I like, the, the Legend of Mana and the, and the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters. But I don't think I'm going to try out the Pixel Remasters at all. Like, I prefer, I would prefer to just play the, um, the Remasters. But hey, maybe one of them I'll try. Maybe one. I already have Final Fantasy IV Remaster. Um, the DS Remaster. So, I'm, I definitely would pass on that one. Um, but the other ones I would... Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, the Legend of Mana is like a big maybe. Oh, I'll, I'm keeping that one in mind. Um... But yeah, I think, I think most of my, like, I don't think Swernix did a very good job at that, um, showcase. But I will say, um, a Uden Chronicles coming out of nowhere from the Xbox showcase was truly, truly the best thing that they showed. Like that, I mean, not the best thing that th they showed, but I mean the best thing we saw all day today. Fantastic stuff. I've been waiting for that game, I think, my, maybe a year now. But they gave it a 2023 release date. They said that the the action... They announced at the very end the action RPG um, portion of it is coming out in 2022 for next year. Like, um, But I'm not... I'm not... Like I just said, I'm, I'm not a fan of action RPGs. I'm just not. But... I'll, you know, I'll keep a look at, I'll keep a look eye on, uh, a look, keep an eye on it, I mean to say, um, but it's not something I'm probably gonna rush to the store to get, or, or even get at all. That's just me, honestly. That's just me. Hmm. Gold bracers. Too many gold bracers. That's all I can really help. I'm kind of... This weapon is so old. We need to find some sort of replacement for this. I don't want to upgrade that. I'm going to keep my pearls. Alright. So, that helped us out. We're a lot stronger now. Um, oh yeah! There's a quest here! I almost forgot! Character builder. Serena? Serena can't make anything. Um, where's the quest? You've been asked by Hakim to deliver a letter to his sister, Akia, who works at the bakery. Let's go to the bakery real quick. Tied to the first or the second floor. Should be right here. Akia. Definitely not here. Upstairs. Alright. 
Um, men moving. Actually, put the kicks and dishes here. We should stick around. Live here to the dark spawn. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Everybody's been talking about him. Turned up in Helidor. Managed to escape. Yada yada yada. Eh? Akia? A letter from my brother? No, 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 no. My name is no Akia, and I have no brother. You talked to the wrong person, Signor. See, Akia worked here before, but then she finished Finito. Is it? Is a shame. She's a talented baker, but she's but she say to me she find a better job. I think now she work for Doji Rotondo as a maid. Alora, I see her today, just near the house of the Doji. She seemed to be moto, moto busy. If you meet with her, say ciao for me. Near the house? She works, oh, as a maid for Rotondo. The house of Doji. Which house is that? I would, I would harbor to think it would be one of these buildings here. Like this one that doesn't open. Oh, this is. It's, it's right here. Doji Rotondo's house. But we can't go in. Wait, are you? You're looking for a young lady named Akia? Well, my name is Akia. Do you, th you think you might be. I might be the one you're looking for? Yeah. A letter from Hakim. A thousand thank yous. I shall read it right away. Let me see. My dearest Akia, are you well? I hope that your apprentice at the apprenticeship at the bakery is not proving to be too draining. I'm certain that you will do well there. After all, you have been uh, such a hard worker since you were a little girl. Now that the misery of our old life is a thing of the past, I pray that you are enjoying your freedom. I cannot wait to see you blossom into a fully-fledged baker. I have enclosed a few gold coins. Hopefully, they will make life a little easier for you. I very much hope to see you one day soon and to taste one of your delicious cakes. With all my love, Hakim. Oh, poor Hakim. How he must scrimp and save in order to send me money. I must write him my own letter in response. Wait a moment, please. It will not take long. Joker waits. I realize that this is quite the imposition, but would you mind returning to the Western checkpoint and delivering this to Hakim? Absolutely, especially with Zoom. Also, I would very much appreciate if you did not tell my brother that I no longer work at the bakery. That is something I would like to tell him myself when the time is right. A thousand thank yous for your kind assistance, friend. May the sun smile upon you always. Alright, let's go over to Hakim. Should be right here. But yeah, I um like I was talking about, about with a Uden Chronicle. Um, that's gonna the action RPG. I'm not very interested in. But in 2023, which is a long two years of, of waiting, that's gonna be honestly possibly gonna be like my game of the year. That game just looks absolutely like perfection. It's, be, it's by the people that made Sweeker in 1 and 2, and I actually plan to play that here on stream one day. Hint, hint, one day. Okay. Oh, you have returned. Did you see my sister? How is she? Is she well? Give the letter. Oh, is this? It is. A letter to, from my dearest Akia. A thousand thank yous for bringing it to me. I cannot wait to see what it says. Dear Hakim, I received your letter. Thank you. Thank you also for the money. I know that it cannot be easy for you to have su to support us both. If it were not for your assistance, I would unable to be I would be unable to follow my dream of becoming a baker. I'm learning so much here. Only the other day, I'm, my master mentioned how much I had improved. I will continue to work hard, Hakim. I want you to be proud of me with all my love, Akia. My de uh, dear little Akia, she sounds though as she's doing well and is working hard. In truth, life has not been easy for her. Her father did not trust. Our father did not treat us well. <sighs> parents, oh Lord, parents. He was once a kind gentleman, but then he suffered a terrible injury, which made him horribly bitter. Aki and I would often bear the brunt of his frustration. It was not a pleasant environment in which to grow up, which is why I want to ensure that she can enjoy her life now that she is free of it. The letter brought me great relief. I am indebted to you for delivering it to me. Please accept this, by the way, my thanks. <sighs> Cutting edge kit. Learn how to make a broad sword, battle forks, and rose whips. Oh lord. Parents are just... Parents are never good people. 
ever. Real life too. Let's go see the forging. Um, we're okay here. Um, I'll make this just to get the pearl, but I'm I'm I have zero reason to actually equip this. Looks like it's gonna rain over here once again. I'm hearing the thunder and it's dark getting dark out. Perfection. Battle Fork plus three. We'll just take those pearls. can't make the other thing so let's go back to gondolia oh wait 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 um pickington entrance i forgot about the word that's what the other thing was that i remembered that i had to do let's save and head over to tickington All right. Let's go see where we're going now. Like I said, I'm only guessing the order of these books. So if this is right, then this is like Dragon Quest X. And this is the one I, I know the least about. Because Japanese only MMORPG. So much fun. But thankfully... Square understood about understood our struggles and we got Dragon Quest 10 offline. I'd rather take an offline game instead of an MMORPG any day. Did you know that the Guri big tree at the center of the observatory is called the Yggdrasil? And the people going about the place with a great big wings are called Celestrians. Their job is to collect something called the benevolence of from goomans like you and offer it up to the tree. Okay. This seems like Dragon Quest 9 actually. Wait, yeah, this is Dragon Quest 9. I'm pretty sure. Curious, most curious. How could I, why I don't know why I thought it was 10 because I thought the other one was 11 for some dumb reason when we are playing 11. <laughs> Curious, most curious, how could a fig like you just vanish like that? This is most vexing. Oh, forget my surprise, we would not see any mortals here. Any mortals should not see us at all. We Celestrians are invisible to humankind. Is this a dream? No matter it, it no matter, it is what it is. What business do you have here, child of man? Aquila is worried about where the missing fig could have gotten to. You wish to aid me in my plight? Ha, you mock me, of course. Nevertheless, I suppose I have nothing to lose to lose in telling you. I have managed to misplace one of those sacred golden fruits known, known as figs. Upon focusing my mind on words, whereabouts these mysterious words came to me. Ruby Path of Doom. A paltry clue, I am more than aware, but if you truly wish to aid me, perhaps you might investigate its meaning and seek out their fruit. I reward you generously, of course. We get a benevolence for doing this. He told you Ruby Path of Doom popped into his head when he attempted to search for the holy fruit. Okay. Where can I find it then? Ruby Path of Doom. Figs are extraordinary fruit indeed. They possess the power to make the dreams of any who eat them come true. Should one fall into the wrong hands, there could be a terrible consequence. I, d I do not know if you are aware, but a fearsome dragon is rumored to have appeared in a certain cave down on the surface. And at the same time, 
at just the same time that Aquila lost his precious fate. Coincidence? I somehow doubt it. Hmm. We're supposed to find the fig in this ruby path of doom. Oh my gosh, this again. No, I clicked on him again. I don't know how that can help me. Ruby Path of Doom. Obviously, I'm gonna guess that this is like in the real world somewhere. It's raining again. Ruby Path of Doom. Go to the left side of this place into that optional area. Who knows, maybe it's even there where we gotta go. We gotta find this Ruby Path of Doom place though. Get out of the way. I definitely gotta increase... I gotta get a better weapon for... <clears throat> for Eric. He's lacking in that department. Something like this is scary to walk on. But beautiful. enemies. Look at that slime there. I've never seen that one. A shell slime. Let me focus it. Oh my gosh. Okay, no poison. Back up. <laughs> but nobody shows up. Oh lord. That makes me laugh. Because it makes me think of something else. Alright. We can ride on its back now. Grass frit. Not sure where we can take this little guy, but we'll see. Obviously the water, but where in the water? Let's see. Okay, over here. Chunk of gold ore. And all of this is walkable. But there's this. Royal soil.
Dang, nothing back here? I would have hit something. Okay, let's go back to where we left off. Right here. Let's go around. Moonswort bulb. Oh, this is going to be such a pretty look. Oh, you don't let me go over there? And this isn't this isn't too bad of a look either, though. Of a view. They don't have much health. Anyone close to leveling? Yes! Eric, Veronica, and Silvando. Okay, defense. They're all gonna die, though. Except for that one, because it just came out. With the bang! That shield looks nice. That he had, that Silvando had. Yeah, for Silvando. Silvando. Yes, you can now make... F you can get Fuddle Dance. A ridiculous routine that can confuse all enemies. I don't really care too much about that, but our goal is to get this entire area here. So, there we go. This is what I want the most right here. We need 14 SP. Um, how big, how powerful was that heal? 70! It cost, it cost 12 MP, but still. I'm gonna go with this one. Let's go see what's in the middle. A hidden panel shatters, revealing the ruin the Ring of Ruin skill. Summons a sigil that increases all party members' chance of inflicting critical spells. That's really good. I I really only have her that's doing spells because I don't have Serena on anymore, but so something to keep a uh, look at. Uh, to keep in mind, I mean. It's already over. You get paralyzed, you're you're not lasting till the next turn. Ooh, they have some sort of magical resistance. Defending, huh? Give me some of that MP. Ooh! I wonder if someone is capable of learning a move that, um, if someone's defending. You can take them out their defense.
Come on, get out of there. At least it's done hiding. Yeah, from what it well, it, from what it really looks like, it looks like if you really want to use Veronica at her highest, like um, potential, you definitely need Serena there. They both complement each other. Just way too well. My, what was the uh, arrow pointing to? Goodbye. Gotcha. See ya. Um. See what's up here. A lot of climbing. A lot of climbing. There's a chest up here. Recipe book. A slender sword of so solid silver. Please, something for Eric. Silver appears. Eh. Let's go look at it. I mean, it works for Ovando. I can't even make it. I need silver ores. Zoom. Both the combination of zoom and... And um, no random encounters really makes it doesn't make you feel like going back to get specific materials it doesn't make it feel too much like a chore to me in my opinion it's zoom just makes things so quick um, and then there's no random encounter so you just you just go and bypass all the enemies if you want and just go get what you need brick of wave weed Okay, so we're gonna head in here into this cave with spider webs. Can you guess what type of enemies we might see in here? More of the sh uh, shell slimes. that one hmm I forgot they resist magic pretty well
We got a sun sun bleached seashell. Dang, they go first. Hit, hit C because he hasn't went yet, so let's just screw his turn. That's what we're going to say. That's so bad. There's an enemy up here. It's a bat. They're too stunned. A stuck you bat? That that's that's new. This one out the way and take this one out. Small scale. There's a slime here. It's one of the heel slimes. That one's in the water. I guess not anymore. Whoops, I did not realize that was Veronica. Gotta pay attention. More seashells. Can't run away. What do you think you're doing? of shell slime. Oh no, that they look metallic, are they? Man of War. Hmm. The name sounds familiar. Oh, they have like no HP. They have to be some sort of um eel slime. Maybe. It didn't heal it though. Back up. Fifty three damage. And we leveled up. How much did we have? Fourteen? Maybe. What are we getting here? Oh, we're on this side, that's right. We're taking at sixteen. One more level up. What's over here? Can't go over here. Wow. One left. Oh my god, the defending. No, please. No more. Those look like on the top of the succubat's um face. Looks like a pig nose. Honestly. What the 
before it calls back up, I guess. Oh god. They're basically harpies. Harpies love making you go to sleep. Take the A one out, and then I will. Oh, Servando will go, and take B version out. Let's get these slimes. So that way we don't get no more annoying defending. They, they're they're more they paralyze you that's what they do left side it's the furthest one away which means we can spend more time going through the area getting treasures and whatnot no I was mashing a it's not a big deal beautiful Poison. Defense. Defense up. It's alright. That's gonna matter because they're dying already. Especially even more now that we got pep. Alright. So. Serena. Squouch. Eric. And go ahead and heal me, heal Eric, and heal Veronica. Grass Frit. Not fall asleep, please. Cast, cast bang, B and a hand should die. Yes. Oh, actually, all of them. Yes. Holy smokes. Swing at this one. Let's crit this one. No. Everyone's gonna get pepped up. <laughs> Wizened wizards.
I do want to try this out. I just want to see it. The heck are we doing? <laughs> Now this is Dragon Quest. <laughs> oh lord, hold on. Oh gosh, that's so good. Oh no, that's Veronica. That's so funny. No! I'm not gonna allow you to escape. Hey, they have the shells on their head. Like the shell slimes. Oh lord. Group of enemies. Let's take out the man of war and hit the other ones as well. Sizz. We're also gonna sizz. And now, take out this one. Oh, that's totally fine. Let's go, Veronica, up. Nice. Back up. Cast bang. And we're going to cast sizz. Surprisingly, none of them died. Oh my gosh! Let's see what I can steal. Nothing, because thief classes always suck. Vondo leveled up, Serena leveled up. Serena learned Tingle. Uh. Oh yeah, we're gonna get this one. Or, I'll get this one. Reveal that one. Dual wielding. Yes. That's so good. Oh no! Oh my gosh. 
Um, I wanted to see what Tingle was. Here's our party members of the effects of paralysis. Okay. Whoops, I did not know. I did not mean to do that. What did I do? Oh, so if you press triangle, then square. You open up the menu and then put square. You heal everyone. I was just trying to pull up the map. Pixie pole. Hold on. For her, right? I knew it. It needs to be upgraded, though. If it gets upgraded by even a plus one, um, it'll be equal on level. With the one she already has on. Hitting different ones because we're just going to sizz them. Then frizz. <laughs> Did it just run away? Huh. Too stunned. We get a sizz off and an another sizz off. That leads this one only. Not anymore. Toad oil. Oh, he's running. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. It's over. The mushrooms are back. Get out of the way before it poisons someone. Oh no. Okay. Oh, 136. Veronica leveled up. She learned sizzle! Oh my gosh! She learned sizzle! That's gonna be so good. And here we go. This is the stronger one. Look at the damage. Veronica's getting so good. All, all she's missing that I personally want is kaboom. Oh, look at that. An optional boss. I love optional bosses. I love optional areas in games. Like, whoo! I was mashing. I just low profile them. <laughs> <laughs> Low profiled them and just said, You know what? It's so funny. I just went right underneath.
Oh, we got two of them poisoned. She crit. I wanted to fight it and make sure it was we defeated it, but even if we were poisoned, because um, I really wanted to ensure that we get this XP and that it didn't go away. But like I was gonna say earlier, um, the one move I really want to learn is Kaboom. So we're waiting for Veronica to get that. All right, Veronica, destroy them all. That defense up might have saved them that w for that one turn there with Eric. With Eric's hit. You're gonna have Eric. He leveled up. He learned Peep. I don't know what that is. What is Peep? Cast this on a treasure chest to reveal its contents. Yellow is a gold, blue is an item, red is a monster. So, we haven't seen any monsters, so there's mimics. I mean, I mean personally, I don't care if the chest is a mimic or not. I'm still- ooh! I'm still going to- I'm still gonna fight it regardless. It's XP. It's XP and money. But, funny part is we have a chest actually right in front of us, so we can test it there. Glad we got sizzle because I really wanted that. We're just missing kaboom. Um. Kaboom is, by the way, um, it's a full AoE um, move, just like Bang, but it's like the stronger version of Bang. So it's gonna be really good. How far am I from leveling? Okay, I really want that level because I'm low on MP. Get a mini medal. Actually, there's a campsite right next to us. I forgot. Hurry up and get this guy out the way. And bang, to end it. And here we are. I really don't want to fight these guys right now. I just kind of want to move on. And that's the glorious thing about on-screen encounters. So we are going to rest. Well, first we're going to ask the statue so we can save. It was literally over two hours. I, no, wait. That's one hour since we last saved. We're going to rest until night.
They're called Morphean Mushrooms. I wonder if there's any more stronger uh, single target um, moves that we can learn. Our magic um, spells that Veronica can learn. There's a whole, a whole area over here. We'll actually just take it out and then head down that way. It's gonna be so much fun. More bosses, and look how good it, look how cool it looks. Rada de la Fronte, Fonte Depth. This way to La Fonte Fonda. No unauthorized access permitted. All right. Coralossuses. Dodgy character. We're gonna pull this up. We're gonna cassap them. And, um, Accelerado. Hmm. Let's start with this one. Um, just looking at what we have. All right, we're gonna sizzle. Um, what was that move? Oh, we're gonna cutting edge the Coralossus here. Nice. It's dying. Tap dance. Parried. Down. Frizz. And we're gonna use hot lick. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. The, the Coral Ossesis are defeated. 704 XP, that's really good. I leveled up. 3 SP. F17, that's really good. Look at that. Now our strength is going to go through the roof. Giga Smash. That looks good. And I can just keep increasing my power just with this. Alright. I don't think I need to rest up. Um, but I will use a mid heal on Veronica here, and a regular heal on Silvando, and we are good to go. This is pretty. Fountain is full of clear, crystal clear water. 
Huh. How much else to this? Probably soon. Probably one of the... One of the, like, ticking tin thing plate up. Ticking tin people are gonna t make us go here or something. I'm not sure. Alright. Before I just zoom out of here. I didn't go this way, so I want to see what's over here. Chest. Need a magic, yes. They're sleeping. Mushrooms sleep at night. They infest this cave. This portion of the cave. Chest over here. And it's over. A green eye. We've had a yellow eye and a green eye. I don't really want to fight, honestly. Put the vine down. The chest here. A blue eye. So we have different colored eyes. It's probably gonna make out a really powerful weapon. Um, let's go back to Gondolia. Where's the inn? On the right. Let's go sleep. Stay overnight. Recover our HPs and our MPs. And let's continue the story. There's a side quest, hold on. Is that from Akia? It is. Oh, it is you, the one who delivered Hakim's letter. Your timing could not be better. I find myself in need of your assistance once more. Could you deliver another letter for me? This time it is going to Porto, Val Porto Valor to a gentleman who lives there by the name of Valentino. Get a mini medal for this. A thousand thank yous. Here's the, the leather. The letter. In order to travel to Porto Valor, you must sail to the northwest. Valentino will not be difficult to find when you arrive there, I am sure. Please be aware that my letter tells Valentino everything, including the fact that I abandoned my career as a baker to come and work here. As such, it would be a disaster for me if, for me if it fell into the wrong hands. You must take great care of it and ensure that it reaches its destination safely. An even lovelier letter. She's in love? There's a chest over here that we can't get because we don't have the, the, the thing key or anything to open up the door. Some things to break there. Another chest over here. Alright, well, let's continue. Look at this guy.
Who is this? Just a regular bard, okay. Off the break. Rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats, 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 we are the rats. There's a thing there, a thing to break here. A, se a seed of strength, let's use that. On myself. Before we start taking these boats, let's check the other side because there was another side. Ugh, my frames. Chest here. Care Riviere, that's a, an accessory. River Riviere. Plus three defense. That's it. Chance of being prevented from casting spells and from being prevented from using abilities reduced by ten. That's really bad. Wave weed. Now what is she doing here? Is this another puff puff? But out here definitely not. It is! Puff puffs. That was so lazy. I love putting... I love it when they rub literally two slimes on your face. Literally, that's. I think that's what they did in Dragon Quest VIII. That's what's supposed to be. I can actually ride the boats. Where are we going? I'm driving here. What's the point of this? Where are we going? Pretty sure it's the right side of town we're going. Just get me off. Um, we're gonna climb these stairs, and we're gonna go back here. Hmm. <laughs> もうすぐ町でコンテストが開かれるので、今ドックは閉鎖中なんです。ここまで来てなんだそりゃ。つまりそのコンテスト何その乙女心をくすぐる響き。ねえ、詳しく教えてくれない。海の男コンテストとは波のように荒々しく空のように爽やかで海のように深みを持つ。その三拍子が揃った男を決めるものです。なので、この時期になると美しい肉体美を
<笑>まったくあの女三人組はどうしようもねえなこのドックを上げてもらえると助かるんだがコンテストの責任者は一体誰なんだそれはもちろんこのダーハルーネの町をわずか一台でここまで発展させた町長のラハディオさんですよどん
<laughs> I would have done the same thing. I would have just snatched that. What are you doing, kid? <笑>ヒム、俺が説明するから無理すんな。ヘアアクセント。ラトで、こいつは立ちの夜勤。こいつはこの町の町長、ラハディオさんの一人息子なんだ。こいつとはよく一緒に遊んでたんだけど、数日
<笑>ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ。ジャンプ
85. Doesn't care. He's not carrying anything worth stealing. Okay. Your evasion did not do a dang thing. He did. Let's take out C. 128 damage. Increasing our damage with the skill tree uh, damage ups were very helpful. Four hundred sixty-eight XP. And where's our friends? There they are. Oh snap. <laughs> Run away. curse someone oh my lord I thought he was gonna deflect it I was expecting Eric to deflect it. Eric. Koko made kureba mo daishoubu yo. Minna kega ga nai mitai de yokatta wa. Demo.神様が捕まってしまいました。今頃一体どんな目に大丈夫よ、聖夜ちゃん。あの神ちゃんが総監とにどうにかなるわけないじゃない。それにしても訳わかんないわね。悪魔のこのあなたが邪悪の神ち
I gotta get to the bridge in the middle. Where did that guy go? Oh gosh, I gotta go the other way around. Oh. What about this way? That looks almost impossible. Mm. Go. Woo. Oh. Where am I going? To the building, to the building, that's right. There's a guy there. Can I use the boat? No, I cannot. Go all the way up here. Oh no! My frames in during this mini game are pretty bad. I'm so I'm so sorry about that. I don't know why it's so bad here. If I get caught, do I go in an encounter or can I? Or is it like a you failed type of situation? How far did this guy go forward? Oh, he barely. Oh. Okay. Get into an encounter. Okay. We have Veronica here though, so that's all fine. Let, let Veronica go. Um. Accelerado. And here goes Veronica. Take out that one. And finish that one off. Go! No! <laughs> that was so bad! I got a lot to deal with because I got two encounters there. Why do they put the camera this close? I don't like that. We are very close to learning an AoE ability, so I really want to hurry up and get that. When he's bang. Veronica's also gonna use bang. So Vondo. Just hit this one. Wow. Where is it? Oh, we don't have a uh, AOE defense ups. I could have sworn. I was pretty sure we had um like a better version of buff, but it's okay. We'll whoosh these guys. Now we'll bang. I should finish them off, well, except that one, I guess. But it's okay. Get that one out the way. So Vondo leveled up. He learned Decelerado. That's all. That's so good. Not an option to go this way. There's not really an, a good option between either side. I'll just have to take this encounter. I'm 
I'm gonna destroy this one because this one has so much HP. This all. I'll hit that one because she can just whoosh them to death. Or I guess not that one, but it's okay. Veronica, you are dying. Let me hurry up and heal you. And here we go. I, I'm absolutely loving the fact that they use that voice actor for him. I love that voice actor. Gondola? Oh. Wait. Yeah, we gotta go down from here and then turn around the corner. And here we go. Go. We're gonna go on right in the uh, right under there, nice and smooth. And here we are. まだ見つからないのか役立たすとどめ。こんな雑魚の身張りなど私一人でいいから。もう一度悪魔の子を探してこい。チャンスよ。今のうちにあの軍人ちゃんを倒して神ちゃんを助けましょう。あ。きそま
Yeah, good job. Good job, Silvando. Um, we're gonna tap dance with Silvando. Damn, what is this? Okay. Hit him this time, please. There you go. We can frizz here. We're gonna oomph my character. And, um... I think we're all set. We'll just start whooshing him. Yeah, we deflected one. As though... Party is not affected, thank goodness. This should hurt, please. Yes! Um, Frizz. Jasper's halfway dead. Wasn't there a move to buff magic? I think it was her pep. Her yeah, it was her pep. It's okay, though. Um, just in case, I'm gonna mid-heal myself. Just in case. And we're gonna go in. Oh god, it crit. It's okay though. Nothing went bad. Too bad, I mean. Hit him with that. We're gonna do massive damage. It might even take him down. It did. Oh, 2000. 2000. Veronica leveled up. Serena leveled up. Yeah, let's see if I can get anything interesting. Um, I wanted to get this one. Yes. Uh, can't get it yet. Um, for her. Um, I want to get that. I can't get that. Um, too low on SP. So let's move on. <sighs> Why does she call Eric God? Kami-sama. Is Eric cursed or something, or is it just a damaging spell? That's the question. I feel like it did more than what it actually seems. <笑>私を倒しても何も変わらぬ。<笑><笑> Adieu. Adieu. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> ここでおとなしく私に捕まるか海に落ちてサメの餌になるか。It was sharks in there? 今ここで選ぶがいい。ほ、ほめろ様。あ、あれをご覧ください。うん。It's a full moon. Oh, that's not they're looking at. <laughs> it's our ship. Very empty, though. Look at him! <laughs> oh, I love Silvando. Oh, 
Dave. Oh, I know that voice actor. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
何を意味するのかは分かりませんがあなたたちは私の息子の恩人ですどうか無事に逃げおごせてください悪魔の子よ<笑>悪魔の子よ聞こえているか貴様だけはいずれこの手で捕らえてみせるせいぜいその時まで怯えて過ごすがいい<笑>あんたもデルカダールに逆らったせいでこれから商売がやりづらくなるだろうけどうまく立ち回ってくれよな、うん、<笑>じゃあなお気をつけてお元気でまた来てねまたお会いしましょう<笑>ありがとうバイバイバイおお、Those masks look pretty cool Ship looks cool 見て綺麗な朝日よまるで私たちの船出を祝福してくれてるみたいねそういえばアリスちゃん黄色の枝を買った商人について何か足取りがつかめてええ、足の聞いた話だとその商人はバンデルフォン地方へ向かったそうですよ。Oh, was, was like、確かの筋の地方だから間違いなしでガス。シルビアのおっさん、あんた一応枝のこと気にかけていたんだな。<笑>それじゃあみんな、世界の海を股にかけて。虹色の枝を探すわよ。出発。ま、北東のバンデルフォンへ。出発。Oh yes, the world map is open now. Order for setting sail aboard Silvando's ship, the Salty Stallion, to search for the rainbow. Sailing the seas. Your time has come to, to find your sea legs, landlubber. You can stop the Salty Stallion anywhere marked with an anchor icon on your trusty map, and when you want to take the waves again, just go and talk with Dave. For your maiden voyage, why not set um, why not set a northeastward course for Zwardrus? Okay. Let me, uh... Clean my glasses. I'm seeing a lot of dirt. <laughs> cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Okay. All right. So here's the world map. Well, a different type of view of it. We can still go back to where we want. So Zord Rust is over there. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go see what this island is. Insula Australis. New enemies here. Handful of grass for it. Urn of royal soil. I want to get more recipe books. I want to get myself stronger. Especially Eric. Okay, they're kind of fast. Oh god, they countered. 
right. Bang. I'm gonna sizz the grublins. Finish off the wizard here. Look how big our ship is. It's insane. Wow. Boom, 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 boom. Can't wait to get that AoE hit for my weapon. I got shocked. It's okay. Drops chest, silk robe, and kitty litter. Silk robe isn't anything good, if I recall. Yeah, it's not. Brick of wave weed. Don't you just love it when it's just a group of one specific enemy? It just makes clearing them so much easier because they're a group and you can hit them all with sizzle. Teleport into overdrive, giving them a stupendous speed and evasion boost. Critical spells. Okay. Oh no, yo. Something about fire. I'm. St I still gotta study. Where are you running? No. Fairy fluff. Wave weed and fairy fluff. Oh, it's one of those doors we can't open. Nice. Why, why did I know that it was gonna not hit? A blazing hot blade. Oh yeah, we tried that already.
They're running. Take them out. Yes. Kitty, a uh, kitty litter again. We'll just leave. We'll just leave for the. Uh, what's it called? The grublins to Veronica, or I guess. May as well just use Bang now. You miss some weird camera angles when it comes to some of the. Seeing some of the attacks connect. Yeah, go ahead, call for backup. That's just more XP. Anyways, um, I'm gonna touch on um E3 a little bit more. Um, I'm not gonna be watching anything tomorrow. Um, but I will definitely be watching the Nintendo E3 as well as the um Bandai Namco showcase as well. So this should be some pretty good stuff to be had there. Wait, there's a Island. Some pretty good stuff to be had. So, pretty interested. I'm very curious about Bandai Namco. What he's gonna get. I mean, I mean, what they're gonna show. What he's gonna get. Ring around the world. He takes a look inside. Makes string rings, ability rings, and prayer rings. Awesome. Be about that right now. But yeah, I really wonder what Bandai Namco is going to show. I really don't know what they've been up to. Or at least, maybe I, do, I don't remember what they're up to. I don't really want any of this stuff. These are what the eyes are for. But we'll make them though, just to get, um... Just to get um, some pearls and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what Bandai Namco is up to. Uh, I'm, I feel like Nintendo is going to be like the most um, interesting one. Like showcase of like the entirety of E3. Um, just because I feel like um, they have some stuff cooking up. Um, we'll just have to see though. I really don't know what they're up to either. I don't really pay attention <laughs> um, to much going on these days I guess. Ooh, good stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know what they're up to. Well, stuff I, I would like to see, in case anyone's wondering. Stuff, something I would like to see. I don't think it'll happen, but it'd be amazing. I really just want to see a new Mario Party. I want it to be a numbered series, though. A numbered entry into this. I want to see, like, a Mario Party 11. Mario Kart would also be a really cool Mario Kart 9. Particularly Mario Party 11 would be because uh, Mario Party is actually my favorite, one of my favorite Nintendo's uh, like series ever. Um, so getting a, a, a whole new entry because the last ones have been pretty pretty bad. Like especially like Super Mario Party, that one was really bad, which is very unfortunate. Um, but it, it'd be really nice to get you know one good, one good one back and have them back in the reins like. Let's see some good, let's get some good Mario parties going again, like, like, am I the only one that misses that stuff? I 
Like, I, I miss all that good stuff. Gonna shoot it past. Oh, God, that was worse. I don't like how this came out, but it's okay because no one's gonna use this. This is just for the pearls. It came out plus two. It wasn't even that bad anyways. Um, what I would like to see out of Bandai Namco, zero idea. Zero, zero idea. I, they always surprise me with something. Um, they're always surprising, um, everyone with something. Um, so... No idea, because I would have, I would have originally have said like, you know, like Elden Ring, but like they already showed that off. Ugh. Uh, I don't really know. Like, truly, I, all I really. What would make this E3 for me would be a return to their roots Mario Party where no one's on the cart. Um, the boards are back to their standard ordinary size. We got um, 70, at least 70 new minigames. Um, online board play. Um, Toadette is back. <laughs> Toadette, my favorite Mario character, Mario character ever. Um... Also, um, um, the dices are back for, uh, to being 1 to 10. More items, please. Not just, not just six. Not just six items that you could just keep going back and forth to the same exact places. And just cheese the game by doing that. Yeah, that's, that's really it. I don't, I'm not asking for the cra- I'm not asking for the craziest game out there. I'm just asking for just- some good old return to the roots type of stuff. Some brand new JRPGs. Specifically turn-based JRPGs. I really don't know what we could get. I really don't know what else we can get besides all that stuff. Because, honestly... I think there's like, um, there's just so much I don't know that they're making, you know, that's in the works that they could show off tomorrow. So it's just going to be, it's going to be very interest, very interesting because just zero idea what's going to happen. I'm going to keep it like this. Doing a light ending on any of the other ones are too risky. They're going to be worse. Alright, that's a lot of pearls. We can rework some good stuff here. For the love of God, Eric. I really, really, really... I'm not going to rework anything yet. Because we are in a... Sh we just got our ship. We can go to new towns. And get some new equipment. So, I really want to see... If Eric finally gets a good new weapon. No more of using this weapon that I've been using for the past, like, 15 hours of the game. And we're gonna first head on from the left side. But let's check what's up here. Good thing this is easy to... to ...move around. Um... The way you drive the ship. Oh, Costa Valor. This was, uh, there was someone here. Porto Valor. Yeah, but, um, I mainly say it, I'm glad it's easy to move. Obviously, for just because I want it to be pretty simple to traverse. But I was playing Nino Kuni, and traversing on the ship is actually kind of difficult. It's very slow. And then, um,. 
I it's just like trying to turn with it. It's just really slow. Oh, yeah. We need to heal up. Yes. Well, at least not my character anymore. We learned Sizzle. Ah, dang it, I did not mean to do that. Only have five, that's like nothing, but... Ten. Okay. Oh wait, twenty-five. I'm gonna first get this. Because this is... This is powerful. AoE ability with my sword. That's like something I'm missing. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, Coralossus. Oh yeah, let me heal because I almost forgot. Mermen. Oh no, they attack twice. Good crit, 84. Yes. And we leveled up. We learned whoosh. Sylvanda learned a new pet power that can be performed with me. Rizwiz. Eight. Need fourteen. Let's see what that ability is. Magical medley that sends a scorching hurricane hurtling at a group of enemies. Basically, a better whoosh. up Eric and let's fight this Coralossus get out the way I'm gonna oomph for my character Zap. Didn't even get the one I wanted, mainly. I'm in the pillars of water. AoE water. Yeah. 311 XP, Eric has leveled up and learned Boulderbringer. Is that better than what he already has? Hopefully. Well, he can get um, this. Let's go ahead and give it, and let's go see what the middle one is. That's an agility plus 30. That's pretty good. Oh, what's this? Bonus, bonus points! Oh my gosh! Divide. Creates two doppelgangers, tripling the damage done by attacks. 14. We're not even far now. That worked out. Let's get this treasure. A tortoise shell. That's, e that's so cool that you can get bonus skill points on specific um, panels. The 
They just add like little bits of elements that just make the game more fun and interesting. I like it. I didn't think so. It didn't. We got to go a whole turn without them going? What the heck? Did it say at the beginning that they were too stunned to move? I don't think I read that. That cave looks pretty in there. More Coralossus, more Mermen. Let's fight the Coralossus. A squid kid. Oh, yeah, boulder bringer. So summons a nerf sigil. Okay. So this is better than Coral um whatever the other one was called. We'll use it. We'll give that a shot. A stat please. Thank you. Oomph on me. Don't! Don't! Thank you. At least it wasn't me. Hundred eighty-eight damage. No crit, no nothing. It's over. Maiden's favor. Look at this pretty cave here. I want to go in. This stuff is so pretty. I just think that's so pretty. My asthma appears. Not good. No! Okay. Let's just physical hit so she can get some MP back. Moving on. Crimson Coral. What is this? Huh. There's so much to uncover now that we have the ship. There's so much to uncover and I'm in love. I love it. Beautiful. Let Veronica go. Auto? Looks like a confusion spell. That guy out, and we'll f end this here. I don't want to fight every single enemy, but I will fight my share, f my good few of enemies. Because I'm going to be going to a bunch of different places on the ship, as long as it lets me. So, I don't want to be... Going to every island fighting every single enemy. Until we get Kaboom, that's my favorite spell in the game. Sizzle. Or when we get something like an AoE attack buff. Won't really help um, Veronica. But, maybe we'll get, um, um, magic attacks up. Magical might up. And down they go.
so much to see and do. Oh, the mango grove. This is the bottom portion of that one area of the game. We figured out how to get here. I can mount this enemy. Oh, the slime. Slime knights. They look adorable. I want a little plushie of them. Dang. An attack that decreases defense. Chance to decrease defense. I definitely gotta heal. I don't- I could just use Sizz here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, never mind. But yeah, these slime knights look like they're such an easy cash in for, um... Or, uh... Oh, we got 1,000 enemies defeated. Achievement unlocked. Um, such an easy cash, um... Just to uh, literally make a plushie of those guys. What is going on here? It's just instant kills. I'm okay. There's a campsite near here. Let's just go there. Hold on, let me grab some of this stuff here. We haven't fought this enemy yet, so... A Drake Slime. We haven't fought them yet, so let's just put it... That we, to say that we've fought it before. Arena leveled up. Um, no. I also want to fight that archer. Which is over there. No, don't run. Alright. Taken out. Oh, Veronica's gonna level up. Let me just fight real quick. Before I go camp. There we go. Veronica should level up. She'll learn a new spell. Frizzle. I don't remember what... I won't, that sounds familiar and I don't remember what it is.
There we go. I'm thinking, um, I'm going to probably, let's see. I'm going to go down here, pick that up. Yeah, definitely. This this sounds amazing over here. Look at that. We'll get we'll grab this. We'll grab that. Um and then we'll go around from the left and grab this one. That sounds like a plan to me. But let me see what that move was she got. Oh, it's a single enemy. Okay, we increased our single target damage. Let me go in the well real quick. Look at what's down here. Pitch Pearl. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Uh, and over here. And last section of the well. Over here. A chunk of silver ore. I needed that for crafting. I don't know if I needed just one though. I don't know. If... But I didn't need that. Alright. We're going to settle in. And we're going to save. Alright guys, I'm going to cut the stream here because I'm actually a little bit hungry. Actually, a little bit tired um, of speaking so much. I'm s <laughs> as, as sad as that sounds. Um, yeah, but I'm a little bit hungry. So I'm going to cut it here. Um, but as always, um, be sure to follow my Twitter and my Twitch. Because obviously, twi uh, my Twitch, I do all the streaming and all that good stuff. You can see what I'm playing. Twitter is, um, you see what I'm up to, you see my thoughts, you can see me fangirl literally about, about Auden Chronicles over at E3, <laughs> at E3 earlier, so you could see me do, st um, be dumb on there, you could, um, and then also, um, sub to the YouTube because I throw all my streams on there and maybe a bit of extra stuff on there as well. I do some, um, extra videos off there, so if you like my fighting game content, there's some older stuff on there you can go and, uh, watch. And some other little tidbits thrown on there. But yeah, I would just say check on all three of those platforms of mine. Um, take care. Thank you so much for watching. And see you on the next one.